Good morning, folks. Good morning. Look at this. It's an absolutely beautiful, stunning day. Um, so, plan today. Didn't have a plan, but I've got a plan now. Um, I'm going to cycle across to Lucas just in about 20 minutes, take my bike on the train. Um, we'll cycle all the way across to St Andrews, hopefully. Might see some typhoon activity in Lucas because the planes are back for a while while Ossie Mat is getting uh, done up. So, um, I've got 20 minutes to get organised, to get my bike, get to the station, buy a ticket, and then we'll get off at Lucas and then take it from there. So hopefully see you in Lucas or St Andrews. Um, yeah, a few more people got on the train in Dundee. So, first stop just across the way there. We'll see if there's anything happening at, uh, at the air station and then we'll cycle across to St Andrews. Beautiful day. This is the old uh, guard bridge, folks. The original guard bridge, which the uh, town was named after. Not sure the date of it, but it's old. Bridge railway station. We're just going to pass it in a second and we'll go across the down, well, the defunct railway bridge. used to carry the trains across to St Andrews. And on that side that's the uh, the newest road bridge. It used to be one, two and then three bridges. Lots of wildlife here. Now what's that? Is that a kingfisher? Is that a heron?
left at the end of uh, the long stretch of road at the old course. Looking over Lucas, now the big massive plane just arrived. Is it going to take off again? I can hear it. Just checked on the uh, radar thing, folks, and it's an Air Force. I forgot the name. Put it on here. This is the aircraft that you just seen. Um, I think it's just practicing. It doesn't actually say where it's off to. So you might, might find it might come back just shortly. I'll watch the route and see when it actually goes. But, uh, yeah, it was good to see. Didn't see any um, phantoms yet, but that was a good alternative. I'm watching the track and it's just turned around. It went up to our the plane. And actually, I can see it with the naked eye, actually, folks. I can see it turning around. It's on its way back, I think, to land. So, yeah, I think it must just be practicing. Yeah, I can actually see it. It's this lovely beach scene. Behind me is um, St Andrews Golf Course. I'm not sure if that's the old course or the Jubilee. I'm not actually too sure, but... Uh, it's in good condition anyway but the plane never came back folks it was turning and it just kind of went and it's gone off the radar now so it must be quite far away so that's a pity right so this is when i'm at the far end of st andrews this book is just behind me there st andrews town's away just down that way so i need to head back around that way in a minute and then see our broth is just uh behind me that's just heading back now folks nice to be joined around st andrews there Got about an hour and 20 minutes to get back, so plenty of time. I'm going to stop on Gart Bridge. I'm going to stop at Lucas again and then just have a, uh, just a nice leisurely cycle back. So that was good. Enjoyed that. Watched the golf. Bought a couple of scones. Went for a wee wonder. And, uh, saw the planes, obviously. Or the plane. Makes you feel spots of rain coming on. Um, so yeah, checking with you on the next location. I thought another plane was going to take off there, folks. I've seen a big, massive uh, green like, RAF plane going on the runway. So I stopped for a while to see if it was going to take off, but it's not taking off, so maybe it's just landed. So yeah, Gar Bridge. Oh, that's a nice little place, like the antique centre. Got a sweet shop. Got scones. So uh, yeah, maybe going there next time. Going to get a bit more time. Right, next stop. So the plane took off, folks, and I missed it. I missed it. That was Albert. Albert 2 was the one I saw. Um, at St Andrews and this was Albert 1 which was the same size but I was cycling and it just took off folks I should have waited damn it and I couldn't get my camera on it quick enough but it's doing lots of circles I put a wee picture on here look at it it seems to be circling round and having a a brilliant day just kind of I don't know practicing maybe so we'll see if it comes back I've got half an hour for the train um, I'm back at Lucas now there's the station just uh, there so we'll see um, if it turns up in the next half hour. Right folks, we're here in Ochmithi this afternoon to look at the uh, the headlines of the Ochmithi news that the roads are all damaged. There had uh, lots of floods here and it's uh, actually affected the roads. It's like there's been an earthquake and all the roads have kind of split. So um, yeah, it's been at the headlines of the lo local news here. So I shall show you what they mean. All right, so here's an example, folks, of the actual the roads. They've all split all the way up. Big uh, potholes. And then all the way down here as well. It's all come apart, so you can't drive down here anymore. As you can see, big, uh, big craters. 
actually quite bad. It goes all the way around here. All the way along, folks. As you can see. Right, we're right inside the, uh, the crater, folks. So that's it folks, yeah, it is actually quite uh, quite severe. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, what they do. So don't bring a car down here. You can't do it, you can't drive this far. Anyway, this is Solo Bro reporting for Spuds down at Ocumethy. Right, Friday quiz. What famous 1980s video am I in? <laughs> Name that tune.